Mate, we're down here at Elite Boxing because you've got a couple of lads who've been training with you that are going to be fighting on that show. In fact, they caught up with you and James Albert, I think, was it about, uh, about six, seven weeks ago? Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, down at the gym and that. Uh, and, yeah. and then Luke, um, Luke Vaughan's just been down here. Now, you've been helping Luke uh, quite for the, probably for the last three weeks because that's Lee White had been preparing him, hasn't he? That's right, um, yeah, yeah. He's been on holiday, so Lee had a word with you and uh, you've helped to put the, the final touches to Luke Vaughan. Yeah, good, yeah, it's been all good. Uh, he's been doing really well, to be fair. Uh, it's good because he trains during the day and like James trains at night time because obviously James works, that's why he can't be here today. Yeah. So, uh, with, with James, though, James is a kid that you're, you're, you, I know he's managed by Curtis Gagano, but you're the kid who's really looking after him and you believe, because most of Curtis boys are actually fighters that are on the road uh, earning a living, but you want um, uh, James to, to be a prospect and, and see how far he can actually go and, and see if he can win titles. That's it, yeah. I mean, James is 35, but he's a young, fit 35, uh, good, good boxer, can fight as well. And the thing is, uh, the opponent we, I chose, chose it myself, was Ryan Ibbert because I know he's a tough lad and I, and I know, in my eyes, I, I, I do believe James well, he, he's good enough to beat him. Ra uh, Ryan Ibbert has just had a good win. Uh, he, has. he beat another local boy. Uh, and and I think the it? reason why you were picking him is because you want that local rivalry because sometimes the men on the road are just doing a job, but when they're doing it on the home soil, there's a little yeah. bit of... Uh, bragging rights, and I think uh, there's going to be a lot of bragging rights if uh, him and Ryan Hibbert can get it on. Yeah, there will be. At the end of the day, it's uh, a 50-50 fight. Uh, I could have gotten an easy fight. I know it's not. It's his first debut, but I believe in my heart that uh, James will, will beat Ryan. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh, if he doesn't, he doesn't. It don't, it don't matter to me as long as it, no one gets hurt. At the end of the day, they go back to the, the families and that. That's the main thing. Uh, and then we'll just progress from there. But like I said, hopefully uh, by the end of next year, uh, if James is doing well, uh, maybe just try and get him an early title fight. And yeah, I, I mean, we, we say that, um, but you know, there's no easy fights out there. An early no. title fight is 10 rounds, but yeah. it's the first stepping stone, isn't it, to you know those those bigger titles. Yeah, that's um, it. But you believe he could get to them. I, I do. I, I've seen him box actually, and yeah. he, he, as you said, he, he, not only can he fight a little bit, but he can box really well. Yeah, well the good thing is as well, he's Roger, uh, his old trainer on the white collar circuits. He's down at my gym, he, he helps out. So he's getting the best of both worlds. He gets what I know, and mm. he's getting what Roger knows. So I'm more like a box fighter, where Roger will learn how to dig deep, Come under, you know, under uh, the shots off anybody's shots, not just Ibbert's. Uh, and mine is like when he needs to box, when he needs to box, well, he will you, box. I mean, I mean, what did you have? You had what, 50, 54, I think, 54, 56, something yeah, like that. Pro I fights and similar amount of amateur fights, so close to 100 yeah. fights uh, under your belt. So if uh, if anyone knows a game, you do. Yeah, thank you, yeah, yeah. But, but this is a new venture for you though, isn't it? It is, yeah. I, I came down, it must have been about two years ago, when you you, you set up your gym, um, Mickey's gym in, uh, what, 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 what's the town? About two years ago, weren't it? It was just before lockdown. Yeah, you, you, you opened it up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm saying it was just at the beginning of lockdown, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, yeah, that's um, right, yeah. So, so obviously it's not a perfect time to set up a gym. But now it's give you time to think about doing this, and I think this is something you've always wanted to do, yeah. isn't it? To, to train pros. Yeah, I've ne I never had the opportunity to be honest with you, mm. because like um, I don't, I did have the opportunities, but I never thought I would not. I wouldn't say good enough. I just, and then with Curtis coming down to the gym, obviously like we got talking and that, and I thought, yeah, why don't I'm 55 now? Mm. Do you know what I mean? I might as well. But I mean, this is this is it's a, it's it's a, a hobby for you, isn't it? Though? It's a Sorry. hobby. It's just something. Yeah, you, I do, you, you're not making money with me. No, you know you, what I mean. But you're only training fighters that you like, and you just want to see the best for them, don't yeah. you? Because I mean, yeah. I, I think you class James as a friend, don't you? Yeah, of course. And, and yeah. you, you yeah. want him to to achieve the, the most that he can possibly achieve. Yeah. Well, the thing is, with coaching as well, you know yourself, it's not. You, you, they're not just boxing lads. 
the, your family, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You've got to you've got to do the right thing for them. Same with the kids. What I've got now, I've got a young kid, young kid uh, Connor now. He's fighting on Friday uh, on a on an Ince Club show. Uh, he's fourteen. He's been with me, and he's come on. So his parents phoned me up. I phoned them up. Mm -hmm. Make sure he's been good at home. If he's not good at home, he don't come to the gym. He's not allowed in the gym. So it's a bit of like discipline as well. And yeah. The kid has come out of his shell. Never used to take his coat off. Taking his coat off now, showing his muscle, flexing his <laughs> muscle, lovely lad. And same with little Sad, uh, he, he fought uh, five weeks ago. I've got him another fight uh, in Hyde on the uh, 17th, uh, another interclub show. So it's all looking good with the club. And obviously, like with my main sponsor, Nero Vodka, uh, they're, they're behind me, they're backing me to the hill, you know what I mean? Well, like you're looking forward. You've got a great little setup up in, um, is it Rochdale, isn't it? Milner, yeah. Milner, Milner, yeah. Milner, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's a lovely little setup, a uh, small gym, same with this place, lovely little gym. But you are making, you are changing people's lives. You, you're yeah. giving a, 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 an opening into this boxing world that some people might never have found if it wasn't for gyms like yours and gyms like this place. That's it, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like where we are now. We, we, you've got Stubbsy, Stubbsy is a cracking little gym as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then down the road, maybe two miles away, you've got Amy Boxing Club. And then a bit more, you've got Billy Kids down the road. You know what I mean? So there's enough sparring, but some, there's some niggly things about other people going to other. I, I believe uh, the more gyms in one town is the better because you don't have to travel for no. sparring. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Uh, that's why everyone should get on in boxing. Yeah. You know, they sh you shouldn't have enemies, you shouldn't have anything, you know. What, I don't know what the word is, but you know what I mean, don't mm -hmm, you? Mm -hmm. it, well, sometimes well, it's not enemies, it's, it's egos. jealousy. It's yeah. egos, that's yeah, what jealousy. it is. Yeah. And then also, like I said, you've got a cracking little gym. It's only small, yeah. but it's well kitted out. It and just looks uh, apart, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's got that, even though it's a fairly new place, it's, it's got that old school feel, yeah. hasn't it, when you yeah. walk into there. So, um, yeah. looking forward to speaking to two of your lads, like you say, Luke Vaughan and uh, James Albert, on the 26th. And hopefully I'll be saying one and all to Luke, uh, or to both of them, because they're yeah. both making the debuts, aren't That's they? That's it, yeah, yeah. Like I said, they're both, they're both up against it. They're both, they're both uh, Ryan, Ryan's a tough kid, like I said. Uh, the kid who, who uh, Luke's fighting, he, he's from Aerosmith's gym. Uh, I, went, I, I watched... Is that Dale Aerosmith, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, sorry, I couldn't said that. Yeah. <laughs> Dale, yeah, Dale's gym. Uh, unfortunately, he got stopped in his, uh, on his debut, but he's a tough kid. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? The kid who we fought, but a tough kid. Well, the, the thing is, with this day and age, there's a lot of kids that are coming into boxing from um, not the traditional route, which is yeah, amateur. Amateurs, you know, yeah. there's a lot of people coming from white collar, yeah. from mixed martial arts, from all other disciplines, and we have no idea how to judge what? them. Yeah. Because with no way, you, you know, if he's had 50 or 60 fights as an amateur, we all would have seen him and we said, oh yeah, he's a good kid, yeah. this or that. Yeah. We're going blind into these fights, which makes it exciting, I think. Because, yeah. you know, we've got to a stage where we all know, we're all experts, because we can all go and box wreck, and we can all can check someone out, and we can look, and we can look at Jamie Quinn's record, and yeah. we'll say, oh, 122 fights with uh, 104 losses, and 5 wins and 10 draws, he's rubbish. Well, they're Actually, not, he's not, though, <laughs> you know. He, he but but when you good. go on and yeah. you see someone who's had five fights, won one, lost four, you've no idea. Yeah. You've no idea no, how good No, or, 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 or say, like, like it's just happening, we're getting a lot of kids who are making their debuts against other kids making their yeah. debuts. So, you know, this is, you're, you're getting that fear factor before you should really be getting that yeah. fear factor. So it's exciting, it's exciting for me, it's exciting for the fans to watch yeah. because they're watching real fights. We've no idea of who's going to win. We hope our kid is, yeah. but, 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 but it's quick, not guaranteed, is it, yeah, mate? No, it, no, now it's guaranteed in life. Well, yeah. you know yourself, don't you? Well, what Ryan did. He did, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, uh, I always say it's Vivian, isn't it? Yeah, but it's yeah. Vivian, isn't Vivian, it? yeah. Vivian. yeah. And, uh, yeah, so you never know, you know, best man will win on the night, and that's all I can say. Yep. Hard training, that's all we've done. We had to train for four rounds, train for eight rounds. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not, we're not going in there thinking, you're going to stop this kid. Never have that. If it comes, it comes. If well, it doesn't, it might he, He's done the graft to make sure that really hard. if I mean, four hard rounds, got he's got the energy out. to survive yeah. four hard rounds. I've got to give a big shout out to Clay, because he's been sparring at, on a Saturday morning. Who's that? Claire Merry, remember Michael Murray's uh, son? He's up at Collier St. Moston. Right, no, no. Remember Michael? 
Michael Murray. Yeah, yeah, he's a big heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's his son. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, he's top amateur. Yeah. Really good. He's been coming down at half seven in the morning uh, on a Saturday morning to. Uh, to he's to brilliant in how they all help one another he's out. He's brilliant, mate. Honestly, God, I can't thank him enough, like, you know. And obviously, the, the kid from Gossip, Ma Matthew, he, he, he'll be signing over. Yeah. Uh, like I say, good, good things are going to happen. So the good thing about this, Mick, is am I going to be seeing you on the circuit a lot more regularly now then? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. Well, Mick, I, I just need a few more fighters and I'll be, I'll be right. Like. Well, I'll be looking forward to that, Mick. Thank like you. Say, you always make me welcome when I come down to your place. Always enjoy coming down there. Look forward to chatting can to I you and your boys. Can I just give a big shout out to Nero, please? Of course you can, Mick. And Roger for the album support. You've got it on support. your t-shirt there, mate, haven't you? Oh, thank you. And they've been a massive sponsor oh, throughout... Mate. Even before all yeah. this, they've always helped the you set the gym yeah, up and everything, did did, yeah, yeah, and I really do appreciate it. Because he's, he's local man to you, you're over here, isn't he? He, he, he lives, lives in Spain now, now like, but, yeah. but he's local to you, yeah, now, isn't he? I've, I've, known, I've known Johnny me for 32 years. Do so you know, he remembers when you were a fighter then? Yeah, of course, he used to set me up in, yeah. in, the, in the cars and that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> him and Nigel, yeah. Those, those bonds that you make as a fighter, they're unbreakable, aren't they? Yeah, of course they are, yeah. Mate. Loyalty as well, that's the main thing, yeah. isn't it? That's with me anyway. All right, mate. Cheers, Thank you care. very much. See you in two each time. Thank you, sir. Take care, mate. Thank, Thank you. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.